I'm uh, Tosi Sumida from Kyoto University, and I'll talk about our uh, experiment, uh, Dosue Double O, uh, which is an experiment to explore the ultra light cold dark matter in the millimeter wave range. All right, so I believe that everyone in uh, joining this conference uh, know uh, what the dark matter or what uh, the dark photon is. So I'll uh, I'll skip that and. Uh, yeah, start with the Lagrangian uh, of that button. So for the electromagnetic uh, part. So in this uh, equation, so the first term shows the, the real photon part and the, the second term is for the dark photon uh, term. And the third term uh, express uh, shows the, uh, the merge term of the dark photon and the, the last term uh, is uh, for the interference uh, between them uh, with the coupling constant chi. So if uh, the you know the dark photon uh, interacts uh, with the real photon uh, field very weakly uh, with uh, through this uh, parameter chi, right? Then so we can show uh, the current uh, status of the measurement or the search of the measurement of this uh, parameter chi uh, as a function of the dark photon mass. So in this spot, the horizontal axis is for the dark photon mass and the vertical axis for the uh, mixing parameter chi. And so we have, uh, there's some uh, constraints limits uh, from, for example, the cosmological uh, predictions uh, measurements and uh, for example, the solar uh, lifetime measurement. And there's some uh, limits, uh, the uh, you know indirect uh, limits from the action uh, searches here. Uh, however, there are still uh, a lot of uh, space here in the middle of this uh, ultra light uh, called dark matter part here. And then uh, with only uh, our previous uh, result uh, for the, this very uh, narrow mass range uh, around the 100. Uh, 15 uh, micro electron volt with the uh, uh, limit for the uh, parameter chi, the upper limit for chi uh, with uh, 2.0 uh, times 10 to minus 10. So uh, here uh, we are, you know, forcing into this, uh, you know, fresh null region. Okay, so I'll uh, show some uh, principles for the search for dark uh, dark called dark matter, and uh, in our experiment, the uh, dark uh, if uh, the dark uh, enters uh, a metal plate, uh, it interacts uh, with uh, electrons uh, through the uh, electromagnetic field very weakly. Then uh, finally, it's uh, converted to real photons. Then we detect uh, those photons with uh, <clears throat> in the millimeter wave range, the radio wave, uh, with an antenna, and read out uh, the signal uh, with a spectrometer. So then, uh, uh, in that signal of the millimeter uh, wave, uh, its uh, frequency uh, corresponds to the dark photon mass and the power, uh, the intensity of the uh, of the radio wave. Uh, corresponds to the coupling constant chi. So, for example, uh, if yeah, uh, we show the uh, you know the the spectrum of that kind of measurement. So this is a result uh, from a simulation uh, with setting the mass uh, parameter at one point uh, hundred uh, micro electron volt and chi is equal to two times ten to ninth. Then <laughs> Uh, so there would be a very clear peak uh, in the mass uh, uh, position of the dark photon uh, with a little bit uh, tail uh, due to the movement of the dark photon or the, the Earth's uh, movement in the solar system in the galaxy. Okay, then, so we're, you know, the realizing uh, the kind of uh, experiment <coughs> uh, in our, uh, you know, possibility. Okay, so moving on to the real experiment. Uh, Dosue double O uh, stands for 
the dark for an observing system for an explored radio range. But it's sort of a, you know, actually a series of experiments for different uh, radio frequency. I'll explain that later. Then, <clears throat> so in a, actually in the previous, uh, in our yeah, previous measurement, uh, we you know, suffered from uh, thermal uh, noise, uh, which, you know, the worst, Worsen the uh, measurement uh, sensitivity, experimental sensitivity, of course. Then, so we, you know, uh, design our <coughs> new uh, detector uh, with uh, you know low uh, temperature environment. So the uh, cryogenic system uh, is uh, very important in this experiment. The uh, yeah, and the horn antenna is set in this uh, low temperature region. And some uh, observers uh, also said in the uh, low, low temperature region uh, to reduce the, the stray light uh, from the window of the chamber here. So, and the, the thermal noise are, now is uh, mitigated uh, very well. So you can see some pictures of those uh, uh, low temperature regions and whole antenna like this. So then, uh, if we th those signals, uh, you know, the amplified, you know, low noise amplifiers, and uh, read out from a spectrum analyzer. Okay, then so all the components are now set, <laughs> and so we have just started uh, the first measurement, so the first run. So uh, we have a new result uh, very soon. So this time, so I'd like to show the uh, expected uh, sensitivity <coughs> from our calculation. Then the the expected uh, the sensitivity for the coupling constant chi is expressed uh, <coughs> in this uh, equation. So parameterized with the uh, noise uh, power and the measurement time and the opening angle of the window, and of course, the, the density of the cold dark matter itself. And I'll, I'll explain that uh, later. But anyway, so the point is uh, that the sensitivity is uh, proportional to the parameter, the measurement time, uh, only to the power of one fourth, okay? So uh, we decided, uh, you know, relatively uh, short time for uh, the you know the unit uh, measurement region with uh, ten megahertz, and the to to you know scan the wider region like this. So yeah, two minutes left. Yeah, two minutes. Two minutes left. Okay. All right. So then uh, this time, so we uh, we will scan uh, this region uh, in two weeks measurement. Okay. So, and um, so, uh, I'll move on to another experiment. So, and then uh, the dark warden, uh, if the dark warden is polarized, uh, that the plane of the, the angle uh, between that, uh, the plane of the polarization and the metal plate, uh, <coughs> it, uh, the power of the signal would depend on that uh, signal. So the, using uh, this uh, information, so we can measure the polarization itself of that water. So to you know, uh, achieve this uh, measurement, so we apply the, the technique of the uh, Cosmic microwave uh, anisotropy measurement by Colby. So, for example, if we set the two antennas and taking difference uh, of the power of the signal between them, uh, we can, you know, measure the, you know, sort of directional information of the radio wave. Then, if, uh, yeah, we set three antennas uh, perpendicularly with uh, one other, then taking a the difference uh, to reduce the sort of uh, long-term systematics in the rotation of the Earth itself. So then uh, we prepared a switcher with four channels and one for the, the, the calibration with the ambient and the liquid nitrogen uh, temperature like this. So then we you know, prepared the, the three antennas, uh, low light amplifiers, uh, hemp amplifies as well, and all available now. Then some basic studies have already started. So, and you can find more details uh, of this experiment 
uh, in the poster by Real. So please check it out. Okay, so the finally, uh, so I'll show the, you know, the, you know, explored uh, regions. So then the first uh, run is on, ongoing uh, for this uh, band, and it, the J band experiment is uh, planned for to to uh, search for <clears throat> this region. And for the higher uh, frequency region, so we plan uh, to do the, the Q or U band, or E or W band experiment uh, to explore these regions. But you know the the low noise um, amplifiers would be expensive for, for these higher frequencies. So if the budget allows, so we'll move on to these regions. Okay, uh, let me summarize the talk. The also double L uh, is uh, an experiment to search for the uh, dark photon as an ultra light uh, called dark matter uh, with a very simple technique, but uh, very powerful uh, for to search the dark photons. And what the dark photon be converted to photon in the metal and it's detected by the horn antenna and without in a very low noise uh, environment. So we plan some uh, experiment for different mass range frequency ranges. And the first results in some updates will be coming very soon. So please stay tuned. That's it. Thank you very much.